Hello, and welcome to Now You're Cooking with GIFs. This video is about expanding the damage buff functionality with damage types using gameplay tags. There's two common methods of adding damage types, including extra attributes or using gameplay tags. With extra attributes, you could add a damage add attribute for each damage type and use the GE damage gameplay effect for physical damage, then duplicate it for each other type of damage. And that method is not very complicated. It only uses a few extra attributes, one for each damage type. But what if you want to add other related attributes, like damage type based multipliers, or resistance to damage types? At that point, the increase in attributes can get a little troublesome. So instead, we're going to talk about using gameplay tags. Both methods have some pros and cons, and this method is a little more complicated, but I think the pros outweigh the cons more than using a lot of extra attributes. I will add a link to a site in the comments that talks about using gameplay tags for damage resistance. And while I won't be using resistance in this video, I will be using the damage calculation setup from previous videos, and the method is similar. To start, we're going to define a few types of damage. We used a gameplay tag earlier for setting damage in a set by color gameplay effect. To add others, you can use the same UI in any of the components that attach a gameplay tag. Or you can go to Edit, Project Settings, Gameplay Tags, and you can add it here. So we're going to add damage.type, copy that, physical, player, asset. You can see that they've been added down here. These values just get saved to the default gameplay tags INI file that's in the project's config directory. So this method requires three things to line up the damage types. The damage source, which will be the gameplay effect, needs to have an asset tag added stating the damage type. The damage buff gameplay effects also need to have the stated damage type. And lastly, the damage calculation of GE damage gameplay effect adds in requirements for those damage types. I'm going to start by adding some better print messages. So I'm going to remove all this. We're going to display the new health value. and the new value minus the old value, which will show us how much damage was taken. We'll do the same thing for armor. And then I'll run the game to show that this is still working. So we do five damage. You can see that health did not go down. Armor went down by five. If we pick up a damage buff, it's changed by 15. Now health is being affected. So next we go into the gameplay effect for damage. We're not touching set by color for both damage add and damage multi. We want source tags require physical. In the damage add buff, we're going to also include here, require tag physical.
Now you can see it still does five damage. If we show the tags that was added, you can see that that one now requires uh, damage type physical. So where it's getting that, uh, or where it's checking that information against is the ability. More specifically, the, uh, the spec. So in here, we can add an asset tag. We'll use physical. Make sure it gets called. Five damage, 15 damage. So now the damage add is working again, but it requires that the attack include the uh, physical tag. So now to make that work for other elements, first I will promote this to a variable. Call it damage tag. I'm going to rename fire ability. Fire ability fizz. I will make duplicates for fire and acid. And fire, we're going to change the tag to fire. And the same for acid. So to test that, we need even more pickups. So in this first pickup, I'm going to change the material. I'm going to find the material it uses. Copy this into our blueprints folder. Add this to the end. and make this a brownish color, light brownish. And then apply that there. And duplicate the materials. Make the acid one red. Oh, make the fire one red. And the acid one green. We duplicate this. One for fire. I'm going to rename this because I forgot to fizz. And another one for acid. Place a few of these in the level.
I also need to make the gameplay effects. So similarly, I will rename this one to Fizz. That already had the physical tag it just added. I will duplicate this twice. Change it to fire. And this one to acid. And then make sure that the pickups have the correct types. We run this. Grab all three. Actually, I don't want that to block yet. Do some damage. And it is 15 from the, the physical one. If you show this, you can see all three of them are there, and they individually require different damage types. So next, we also need to add those damage types to the damage gameplay effect. So to do that, I'm going to take the damage add and the damage multi and duplicate them each twice. So that puts it in the order uh, in place. So damage add uh, physical is here, and then the next one is damage add the other one. So I'll ch switch this one to fire. And then this one closed for some weird reason. I'll switch this one to acid. Just double check that it's the correct attribute, which it is. For the damage multis, we can duplicate twice again. This first one will be physical. This one is fire. And this one is acid. So playing again, nothing will change because even though those are being added, they don't take effect because the attack itself is physical. So to show how that would work, we have these other two gameplay abilities. We can attach one of them to the character. So right now we have fire ability fizz. Switch that to fire ability fire. Show that it's five damage. If I pick up fizz and acid, five damage, pick up fire, 15 damage. Similarly, if I switch it to acid, pick up physical and fire, still five, pick up acid, 15. So what that means is as you make different gameplay abilities and you add those tags, the asset tags, different damage types, it will just apply all of the buffs that are of the matching type to the damage. If we did the same thing with our damage multi pickups, you could do the same with uh, the multipliers. So this alone is very handy. But what if you want to apply damage differently based on the damage type? Maybe fire hurts health more and acid hurts armor more. Where this is applied depends on where you're subtracting from armor and health. We did this in the attribute class, so let's add it there.
So in the attribute class, we have the data, the data parameter, the scent. It has the spec. This is the spec that we uh, we built in the game playability. Uh, from that, we can get the tags that are attached to it, and then check uh, check the value and uh, do something differently with it. So I'm actually going to replace this entire block of code. So first we're checking if get armor is positive, because if it's not, we don't want to apply any damage to it. It wouldn't have any effect. And then set armor is not called, which means we do not fire off the armor change event. So first we're uh, creating a temporary variable for the in damage. We are creating a tag, which we're building from damage type acid. And then we're using that in damage effect or effect spec, the captured source tags. Uh, we're calling uh, get spec tags. And then we're looking for that exact damage type. If that exists, we're just multiplying this the local damage here by 1.5. So then we're getting the current armor. And then we're checking for the minimum between the current armor and the damage done. So basically, if your current armor is less than the damage, the damage it will, it will apply here is the full value of the armor. If the damage coming in is less than the current armor, then we'll be applying the damage coming in. So what this does, it will then change the damage done variable by subtracting the, uh, the minimum of those two. We're doing the same thing with the current or new armor value, setting that like we did previously. So this section has not changed. Um, the end result of this is that the in damage done has been reduced by the amount of damage applied to the armor. So then down here, as long as there's still some damage left over, which is only going to happen if this value is higher than the current armor, and we're doing the same thing. We're creating a tag based on a damage type fire. If the spec has a tag matching that, it will then multiply this damage by 1.5 and then apply it. This is the same as previous. So when we run this, so you can see now the red text shows that the damage done was five. The red text was the log that we added to the damage calculation. At that point in time, the damage is five. It's being modified after that when it applies it to the attribute. You can see with the new log that armor has taken 7.5 damage. When we get down to health, you can now see that health is only taking five damage. If we switch the character, back to using the physical ability. You can see that it takes five damage. Armor is going down by five each time. When it gets to health, still five damage. When we switch it to fire, You see the armor takes five damage, and then when it gets to health, it's taking 7.5. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video and you would like to see more, you know what to do. If you have suggestions on future content or abilities you would like to see, let me know down below.